got to do is my battery through the winter. But hopefully, I'm going to give you a little bit of advice about what to do with your caravan battery through the winter. I'm going to explain what the differences are with the different batteries and hopefully this will help you keep your battery in the best possible condition and it will last a lot longer than, uh, than not doing anything at all. So the first thing that we need to ask really is through the winter why should we do anything differently than when we, what we do through the summer season? Well in actual fact you shouldn't be doing a, much different. Um, the big reason that it's more important for doing something through the winter than, than through the summer is you're probably going to be using the caravan a little bit more through the summer months and the chances of the battery completely discharging is a lot less than through the winter. Through the winter it's going to be sat there longer, it's going to be colder, the cold weather will discharge the, the batteries quicker and it will reduce the life of your battery and that's regardless of whether you've got a lead acid battery, a maintenance free battery and an AGM battery and they also do gel batteries um, so it doesn't matter what type of battery that you've got there is going to be some sort of maintenance involved even if you've bought one and it says maintenance free. Now you may have a tracker or an alarm system and you say well actually I need my battery to be completely connected and permanently connected onto the caravan um, for that reason and in that case it's even more important that you make sure that your battery is fully fully charged up um, and when I say fully charged up I don't mean 12 volts. If you've got a battery and you've looked at your little voltage meter inside the caravan and it says it's 12 volts, oh, 12 volts it's perfectly fine. Well actually 12 volts is in a state of discharge. Uh, it's only when a battery reads between 12.7 and 12.8 volts that it is actually then at fully charged. At 12.4 volts it's actually 50% discharged which a lot of people don't know that and they, they'll test a battery and say oh yeah 12 volts I'm fine at that. Now the solar panels and charge units in the caravan will not fully charge the, the batteries. Um, they'll never put the, the battery up to 100% of where it would have come out of the factory. So that's one of the reasons that it's so important to actually remove the caravan, even through the summer um, when you are using the caravan. Every four or five weeks, I would suggest for actually removing your battery and getting a good charger for the battery and again we'll put some links in the description for different chargers and just taking it off there completely and giving it a good charge up. If you've got alarm systems uh, and tracker systems it's possibly advisable to have two batteries that you can alternate so you're always going to have a battery on regardless but you've got two then that you can swap over and take one home give it a real good full charging up and swap them through. As I say, through the winter we use the caravan less so it's sat there longer, the cold weather deteriorates the battery quicker and a lot of people come to the caravan sort of February, March, the battery's completely dead and then a couple of months later there's a rotten egg smell and it's just basically the battery's just sulfated up, um, it's stopped working and now when the charger's trying to put charge into the battery it's just basically blowing it up like a bomb. Um, and that's where you get that rotten egg smell coming from the battery. And it's just basically the, the battery's destroyed because the leisure battery hasn't been cycled properly. It's not been, when it's got to a state of discharge, it's not been charged up properly. When the battery gets down to below 12 volts, it's very difficult for the caravan charger, when you're plugged into the mains electric, to really recover the battery. And all that you're ever going to do then is just sort of prolong the death of the... Uh, of the battery. So even through the summer I would advise removing the battery, having a good charger, give it a good full charging up and then put it back on there. Um, I'll just go through what the differences are with, with the batteries um, and NCC have even come out now with a classification for batteries and you'll see that some batteries have got the NCC logo on and what that means is that you can be assured that it is a specific leisure battery for a caravan or a motorhome um, 
and then you've got a class A down to class C. Class A being the best battery that there is, um, so it's going to last longer, it's going to be able to cycle more, and what I mean by cycle more is it will be able to discharge and recharge up more times than, say, a class C battery. So again, this will only probably do two or three hundred cycles of being discharged down to about 12 volts and charged back up before it needs replacing. And that will probably last you around about two years if looked after properly. Um, some of the Class A batteries you can actually get with a five-year warranty. And now that's where the price of the battery comes into it. You may look at a battery and say, I'm not going to pay nearly £200 for a battery. I'd, I'd rather pay £70, £80. Pounds. Well, you may end up replacing this £70, £80 pounds two, three times in the life of one battery if it's looked after properly. Um, so again, when you, when you look at it and you say, well, actually, that £200 pound was better well spent than £70, £80 pounds on, a, on a lower, on a cheaper, lower quality battery. But again, it's horses for courses with, with the batteries again. Regardless of what battery that you go, it, it's got to be charged up and that is going to prolong the life of your battery. Um, as I say, through the winter, the harsh conditions, not using it more, it's going to reduce the quality of that battery quicker. So it's more important to make sure that that battery is taken off, fully charged up, fully cycled, and then it can be returned on. If your battery has got a little indicator, a little window like these two here, and it actually says on here that if I've got green, it's okay. If I've got white, it's time for the battery to be replaced. And then if it's gone black, uh, it needs to be recharged. Now I've got a voltmeter, um, and this is the best way to check your battery. Um, even if you've got a voltmeter inside of the car, and unless it's a real good digital meter that's giving you precise 13.1 or 13.2 or 12.8 volts, um, if it's just a gauge, you're better off with a, a voltmeter to give you the true state of the battery. So our first battery here, we've got 12.05 volts. Now that is pretty much in a state of discharge. Um, now when we look into the little window here, uh, it's still actually showing a little bit of green. So it's still saying that the battery's okay, but that is at a point where that battery now needs to have a good charge um, and get the voltage back up to about 12.8 volts um, before it can be left for any sort of two or three, maybe four week period. We've got the lead acid battery now. Now that's showing a really bright green. That looks absolutely perfect. So I'm expecting a real good voltage on this one. Ooh, I've got 10.2 volts. Um, so this has already started to really deteriorate. Um, we're gonna struggle to actually recover this battery. Um, once we've gone below 12 volts, it's it's pretty much curtains time for the battery and it will be very, very difficult to recover this battery um, for any real usable time. Now the AGM battery, again, these are the most expensive out there really, apart from the gel batteries. And I've got 12.81 volts. Um, so that is at the point where it's saying that that is fully charged um, and that should be fine to leave for a about three or four weeks without having to charge up again. Again, if you've charged the battery and you're gonna recheck it, it's advisable to leave the battery for about three or four hours before you put the voltmeter on and get a true reading. If you've just charged it up and then you check the voltage, it's gonna give you a false reading. Um, so it needs to settle three or four hours and then take the reading and that will tell you a real true value of the, of the reading and that will give you a good indication as to whether your battery is any good or not. Hopefully we've given you a little bit of useful information and why it's so important to, especially this time of year now as we're coming into winter, to start thinking about looking after your battery. It's going to prolong the life of your battery, it's going to cause you less problems and it's going to save you money in the long run. So uh, thanks, I'm Mark at the Caravan Place.